Hello and welcome to another Game Guru tutorial. This is a very quick one, or it's going to try to be a quick one, uh, which carries on from the last video, which was talking about the Game Guru loader, which takes a Game Guru level and it puts it into App Game Kit, and then you can code your own game logic. Well, can code your own complete game, in fact, with just using the Game Guru levels. So I wanted to explore a little bit more about the coding aspect of that to really make a comparison between scripting which is what you do in game guru and programming which is what you do in app game kit and i think it's important to make a distinction uh, between the two no better way to do that with with an actual demonstration so <clears throat> i've loaded up app game kit and i've created a new project called my simple program which is this is what you get when you create a new project it pre-creates some uh, little program i'll run that shortly i've also loaded up note pad plus plus my preferred choice for writing Lua script and if you have notepad but you don't get the right syntax just go into the language drop down and go into L and you'll find something which says Lua so you select that make sure it's ticked and then Lua there you go so you've actually got that one and they've got Game Guru <clears throat> because we're going to need Game Guru to just uh, run our script and see if it works so the script in question is going to be the traditional script every programmer slash scripter starts off with, which is the Hello World program. <clears throat> Back in the 8-bit days, we could sneak into computer shops and type 10 print Hello World 20 go to 10 and then quickly run out the shop before the shopkeeper finds out what we did. <laughs> And there's even a, a special hack where you could actually stop the keyboard from working so they couldn't actually stop the program without switching the computer off. And the plug was usually behind the computer. Anyway, I digress. It was the very first program. It's very clever. It's very simple. And it makes you feel like you've made an achievement. So that's what we're going to do. And we're going to start it off in uh, the App Game Kit side because this is kind of the more traditional way. So you start off with this. I'm just going to run the default program and it will open a window, it will make it black, and then you can see it's actually printing out a number. That's actually a frame rate right now. So if I close that down, rather than write a complete program from scratch, it's always a good idea sometimes to start with an existing program. Because you know it works, you see. So I'm just going to clean up the spacing a little bit. Let's save that and run. And there is my Hello World program running in App Game Kit. It's just about the simplest program you can create. So we're going to start at this level. So now we've got, it's just a screen which says Hello World. So can we do that in Game Guru? The answer is absolutely yes. And the way we do that is to create a script. So we're going to look at the script bank folder. So if you go into your Game Guru root installation, go into Files, and then go into Script Bank, you'll see that we've already created a mountain of scripts for many different things. All these scripts, in the small way, contribute to the game logic that your game will have. But you're going to want to be able to create your own script at some point, and so this is going to show you how to start a very simple one. So I'm just going to copy any old thing. Uh, Appear.lower is fine. Control c Control v will clone it. And we're going to rename this to my own. I'm going to call it Hello World, no space, all lowercase. Copy what I've just typed. Find it again, it's just resorted. And I'm going to open up this hello world .lua. and when I, I've already pre-associated with Notepad++, so you can see it pops up here. And this is the this is the current appear script, so we don't need any of that. So what we're going to do is delete all the comments. We're going to replace appear with the name. That's why I copy it into the clipboard with the name of the script. This is important. When that script is loaded by the engine, it looks for whatever the script is called underscore init and whatever it's called underscore main. We're going to ignore init for now. The one we want to focus on is main. Main is the thing that the engine calls every cycle. Every time the screen is rendered, it also calls this function. And this is where we can do some programming. So as you saw in the app game kit program, it's a simple print statement which says hello world. Well, the simplest print statement in a, in a game guru Lua script is the prompt command. So this is what we're going to do now. Hello world in a prompt, one command one parameter and now we've got the script we need to be able to run that script well how do you run this script it's like, this is just a text file isn't it and this is game guru this huge game maker they can do loads of things well i'll show you how to do it the simplest possible way first is get a start marker drop it into your level whilst you're on the markers tab 
go into trigger zone which is further up here drop it to the one corner and stretch its influence over to the uh, start marker now this zone it will activate when the player enters it as you start already in it it will activate right away so we're going to go into properties and main and we change the script from that to the script we created called hello world.lua so now you've got hello world.lua apply that and that's now associated with this zone I'm not going to save although saving is very prudent I'm just going to run it and it will load in all the extra assets it needs and there you go the game has started I can run around I can jump but you've got hello world at the bottom of the screen that's what the prompt command does it'll simply put some text onto the screen for you. But let's be a purist for a moment. That isn't where we wanted it. If you looked at the App Game Kit program, it was in the top left corner. It's not in the bottom center. So let's see what we can do about that. Well, we can do quite a few things at that. First thing, we need a different command. So instead of prompt, there's another command called text. And text takes four parameters. It takes the X and Y coordinates of where you want it on the screen. It takes a size value as a numeric and then it takes your text so again we'll tap out hello world and we can get rid of prompt now we've now got a better command which is more uh, uh, in line with our app game kit so again we'll remind ourselves we'll run our app game kit program and that'll say hello world and now we've saved our script we go to game guru we run it again it will use the new version of the script and now hello world's in the top left corner much like we saw in the app game kit. So if you can do that, you can then sit back and claim that you've done a bit of programming and a bit of scripting. But I just want to go one step further because programming is about logic. It's about a sequence of events um, that will culminate in something very clever and wonderful on the screen to baffle your user with. So we'll come out of the and we'll go back to app game kit and we're going to try something a little bit more ambitious. So let's not just have Hello World. Let's have Hello World rendered in different sizes uh, over and over again each time. So there is a command in App Game Kit called set print size, and it will take a single parameter, which is the numeric for the size. Now, because we're using virtual resolution at 1024 768, we're going to use pixels to determine the size. So I'm going to say we want a minimum size of 100 pixels high. Uh, and then we want a random value. Now the command for random is random2. Um, random2 is actually pretty good. It actually gives you a start value. So instead of doing random and then adding it to an existing value, all, all we need to do is 100, 100, sorry, 200. That will pick a random value between 100 and 200 and then give that as the parameter to set print size command. So if we just run that, see if anything works. Yeah. So now you can see it's actually doing uh, random selections of text sizes between 100 and 200 pixels. And you know your logic is running because it's moving and moving and moving and it's running at 30 frames a second by default. So how do we do that in the script? How do we do this? Now we're getting into logic. Now things are happening. Well, as I said before, we've got four parameters. We've got where you are on the X coordinate. Uh, that's uh, how far along the screen. Y coordinate, how far down the screen. Size value, and then the, and then the text. So we want to change the size, don't we? Right, yes. So text size. Don't worry, this is not a command. This is what's called a parameter. This is a value that we can set and store it in a special place. And that value can be held for future reference. And we're going to use it immediately after creating it. So we've got a value. Um, for the text size and it has to be between two values, a small one and a large one. Now in Lua for random command you have to type math.random and then it has a number of different parameters but it also has uh, the one we want which is start at 3 and say go all the way up to 10. Right. So this will generate a random number between 3 and 10 and store it in a variable called text size. Then we take that variable and we replace the literal value with the variable. So whatever value is being generated and stored in that variable will be used in this command. So we save that script, we go back to game guru, we press test game, 
and then we see what happens. And what happens is we now got Hello World being changed from sizes 3 through to 10, thus demonstrating logic again. We can run around and jump, but that script is also running in parallel in the background doing its own logic. Now you take that concept and multiply it by near infinity and you can create any kind of game logic you want. And it always begins quite simply with a script and a sequence of events that you want to happen inside your program, game, app or whatever. So hopefully this was a useful introduction to the differences between programming in App Game Kit and scripting in Game Guru using the Lua scripting language. I hope it was insightful and maybe even opened the door a crack for your journey into early scripting. And until the next video, thank you for your attention. I shall say goodbye. Goodbye.